Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Thriving Thrifters. Clarissa here, and I have my director. John. No drink tonight, so it may be boring. What are we... It's always boring with me. No, it's not. Always. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, we are a f funny, <laughs> crazy, Did you forget? Dis I was going to say we are a family. <laughs> we are a family. <laughs> Dysfunctional family. And I like to stock the Thread Up website. Usually when the fun boxes go up is when I go crazy and buy. However, in 2022, I am listening to my subscribers. I had a subscriber, Jennifer, already talked about her, um, suggested that since I never get shoes at the thrift, at the thrift, at the bins, <laughs> um, that I should try a shoe box. These boxes are always available, always. I don't understand how they are. Anyway. I think we're fixing to find out. I know nothing about shoes, except I wear seven and a half. <laughs> I don't know anything about reselling shoes, although I have resold a few. However, we're gonna do this. And John said a big heavy box came from Thread Up, and I said, I think it's shoes. So, we usually like to do a little thing where we put something into the universe that we would like to have in this box. But I don't know anything about shoes. The only thing I know is people say Rothy's. I think it can be men's or women's or probably not kids because I think they have kids. And I don't know if it would be men's because I don't know, so just say some shoes. <laughs> what are the boots that everybody like? Oh, Fry? No. The boots that everybody were... Um, Area? Lucasi? Justin? They're not cowboy boots. Doc Martens. Oh, that'd be good to be in here. I'll go Doc Martens. Yeah. Um, so, here we go. These will not... If there's anything in here that's listable, which I hope so... They will not be listed, and I do not think I'm going to have time to put prices on the screen. We'll see how it goes. Um, but if you see anything that you're interested in, you can always shoot me an email at thrivingthrifters at gmail.com. Why are you looking at me like that? Can you feel nervous? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just thinking about all the stuff we have to do. You're going to have to get to sleep because you've got to get up at 4.30 in the morning, no. or you've got to get up before 4.30. Yeah. Because we have to leave at 4.30 in the morning to get you to the Aero Puerto. So you can go to Mexico. Be up and ready. No, you won't. I don't know when this box is going up. or Because I have a schedule. we're just recording enough for me to have scheduled. So, Jennifer, if this box <coughs> is crap or if I don't know what I'm doing with it, which I already don't, can't you tell I'm stalling? I have your address. We're going to blame it on you, Jennifer. It is so heavy. I told him I didn't know if this was the best place to do it, but... It's the best place. It's fine. I don't think you're going to be able to tilt it over because it's too deep. Let's see. I don't even know. Ten pairs of shoes, $60. Mm. So I need to sell each pair for at least $6. $6. And I ordered this on January 12th, the day mm. that Jennifer suggested it. You know I'm all about new stuff. So, let's just bite the bullet. I'm already excited about this piece of tissue. Oh, well, there's more down there under the first row. This is from Arizona. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's get them out of there. Let's check them out. <laughs> you can just stand there and lean the box towards us all night and just let us look at them. Let's get it going, girl. These are Sperry's. These used to be really super popular. Once upon a time. Um, they look nice. I don't know if they're still in style or Some not. Well, I mean, yeah, they're used. Um, they look okay. I'm looking for a size. Women's six. This one comes with a hair. I'll remove that for yeah. you. Hair not included. So just the, were these called deck shoes, yeah. boat shoes? Deck shoes. 
Bottoms look okay. Or loafers. So those are okay. Those are okay. Hmm. Matt Burnson. Mm -hmm. I should have John look these up while I'm doing it. Size 7. Soulfully designed in New York. There's the bottoms. Does up around the ankles is Velcro. Oh yeah, that's cute. Velcro. This is kind of a, I don't know what that is. Canvas. This is a cute style. Um, there's some wear on the toes. They evidently should, sells a lot of shoes because I haven't found them yet. Matt Burnson. Yep. Viola. Okay. Um, these are a grayish or tan, I don't know. Um, does up around the ankle like that. Wedge. I don't know if these are gray or Kind of like a grayish tan. brown thing going on there. Um, leather. So it says it's leather. Did I say the size? Have I found the size? No, no, I didn't hear it. 39. Um, looks like there's some listed on Posh right now for 25 bucks. These? Yep. Biala. Biala wedge heel sandals. I just need six. That's all I need out of it. it looks the same, same exact shoe. And what size did you say those were? 39. The same exact shoe. Okay, well, screenshot that and send it to me so I can. These are cute. These are Converse. Just the white low top canvas. I just actually sold a pair of these leather. Mm -hmm. These actually are pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, I will wash them. And I don't see any tears or anything. These are a women's six, no, men's six, women's eight. Okay, those are okay. Mm -hmm. I'll be able to pop those in the yeah. washing machine. And another piece of paper that I just tore. <gasps> These are Fergalicious. Oh. Um, they're just brown little suede looking booties. leather looking. That buckle is cute. You said they're Fergalicious? Mm hmm. These are a size. Just in my nails. Don't do that. I'm just trying to unbuckle this thing. Okay, I'll unbuckle them if there's a chance you'll damage your nails. I don't have any I don't see anything on there. <laughs> Jennifer, how's it going? How am I doing? <laughs> Looks like it probably goes on the heel right there, but it's worn out on this one. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, not sure. You can, no, you just bumped the camera, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, <clears throat> I might be able to, I like Reef. They're usually really comfortable. These are new with tag. Yeah, they are brand new. Size eight. Size eight? I might be able to wear these. Mm-hmm. Take I'll those take with you, Matt. Me. Yeah. Mustard, size eight. Nice. Suede. Mm hmm. I was seeing if it had the MSRP. Nope. But they, these are <clears throat> these are a good brand. They might be too wide since they're an eight. Mm. Let's just see. Oh, these are cute. I might keep these. 
Maybe. It'll be something that came out of the box. I'll right have right. to walk in them to see what my feet's like to the yep, front. Yep. What? I said yep, yep. <laughs> Do those fit you? <laughs> Tory Birch wedges, gray wedges. You guys. Is there going to be something wrong with them? Which one are you not looking at? And I'll look through the other one to they're see if there's size sizes. 11. Oh, there are? Oh, so you can't fit those. I wouldn't wear wedges anyway. They yeah. the, Look at the toes right here. See, that's where you'll see the... Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit here, which yeah. is pretty normal. Not bad. Um, you can see the bend in them too, where they're this one. Yeah, is there's coming. a little. Yeah. These are, I mean, they, of course they are used. Yeah, they're shoes, used. These are not bad shape. Not super bad. The heels are not bad on them at all. Size 11. Mm hmm. So those are okay. Those are okay. Those are good. Those are good. Those will make six bucks. Those are good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this, uh, the toe was just worn on that one. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, you need to take those with you. These are cute. I think I own a pair of these, but not this cute. These are Jeffrey Campbell. I have heard of that. I don't think it's anything to get super excited about, but it's just these booties mm -hmm. um, with the little fringe and the zipper. Seven and a half. Oh, that's my size. Yep, that's what they are. It's in the inside of the zipper. I'd fall down and kill myself. It comes up the zipper, it's there on the tab. The Actually, zipper. I wouldn't kill myself, I would just hurt my ankle. Oh, that's yeah. cool! Yeah, seven and a half. They're not worn bad, I mean, they're they're used, but they're not bad, they're still pretty new looking. Toes look okay, mm -hmm. heels look okay, mm -hmm. not bad. Not too bad, not too bad. There's another piece of tissue on the bottom. Oh, this is cheap. Those will make you a foot taller. This is cheap. Um, this is soda, fast fashion. I have a pair of soda shoes that I wear to work every day. Oh. John says they look like they're the shoes that they issue you in prison. Oh, those? Yeah. This is just a espadrille leopard print. Uh, I think there's a nail in the bottom of that. <laughs> a fingernail? Or a nail now? See it? Well, if you'll hold it still, I'll be able to see it. I can... Oh, never mind. It just came off. Okay, cool. It wasn't a nail then. Every time I got to focus in on it, you she moved it. You needs to get a beer. No, I don't need a beer. You were asking me to look at it, and every time I started to look at it, you moved it. Well, I was trying to not get you to waste your time. So that's, there they are. Yeah. What size are they, did I say? No. Nope. They look like about an eight, seven and a half, eight. That's just a guess. Maybe they're sizeless. Yeah. One size fits some. A little dirty on the bottom. The mm -hmm. size may be under here. Maybe under there in that block. Maybe. But this is an eight. So they're probably an eight. Probably seven and a half, eight. Last pair. Mm, thank goodness. These are okay. Mm-hmm. You do a little whitewash on the white surrounds Vans. there. Vans. Yeah. You get your money out of that. Taylor used to have us these in pink. Mm-hmm. Um, these are a men's six and a half, women's eight. Hmm. They're a decent size. And like John said, I'll just wash them up. Mm-hmm. Um, Let them go on and live with somebody else. Look okay. Yep. Look like they're in good shape. All right, so that wasn't terrible. No. One. Two. Three, 
four. Mexico. There you go. All right. So that was okay. That wasn't what I, I thought it was going to be really awful, like messed up, torn, you know, stuff I wouldn't know anything about, which I don't know really anything about a lot of that. But I think it ended up being okay. So, Jennifer, thank you. And if you have any suggestions or something you would like to see me try, in the thread up boxes, drop it in the comment because I'm listening and I'm doing what the people want. And it is now time for the quad question of the day. Would you rather on a snow day stay in in front of the fire or go outside and build a snow fort? Minus last winter. Since we're in Texas, so when it snows, usually everybody goes crazy and goes outside. Mm -hmm. However, last winter, the snow was like... Crazy. Yeah. And deep and cold outside. Sustained for several days. Yeah. So. I like to go out and play in the snow. You know, a little bit. Whenever it's... Until the new wears off and then I'm done yeah. playing in the snow. And then I like to come get back in front of the yeah. fire. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so leave it down in the comments. Snow man or fire on a snow day. Mm -hmm. And give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel. Smash the button. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.